Hey guys and welcome to Lifting Love Couples Reacts. We're back with another video. We got Wifey with us. Say what's up. Hello. <laughs> and this time, have you watched Do Perfect before? Yeah, you showed me one of their videos where they raged out. Uh, okay, have you ever seen their trick shot videos? No. Okay, so today we got the world. Dude Perfect is meant for doing basketball trick shots. That's what they're meant to be doing. They're meant for doing. Oh. So let's get into the video. Only thing between us and history, 800 feet. Let's go, boys. Come on, we can do it. If you need a safety strap to do something, shouldn't be doing it. <laughs> Just saying. Just this is the world's highest basketball shot. We are about to attempt the most improbable trick shot that we've ever done. Scientifically, this is basically impossible. And what better place to test the odds than Las Vegas, baby? Since the beginning, Dude Perfect has been known for mainly one thing, trick shots. And for the last 14 years, our goal has been to push the limits of what we think is possible. In 2009, we went to Kyle Field and made the world's longest basketball shot. Yes! What? But we didn't stop there. We went higher yeah! and higher. Holy cow! Then in 2016, we went to Oklahoma City and shot a ball off a 530-foot tower, officially claiming the record for the world's highest basketball shot. Finally, in 2018, the record was broken once again from an insane height of 660 feet. <laughs> the only problem? <laughs> Look at all the basketballs down there. Know. It's like. <laughs> it wasn't us. Our record was broken by how ridiculous. And after five years, it's time to push the limits once again and see what's possible. Throw it and hope that you hope you make it. Ready? Ready? That's crazy. Our team has been talking about taking back the record for quite some time. I saw the highest shot on the board for like three years. What used to be, hey, let's go out and shoot a video. It's not like that anymore. There's a lot more prep work that goes into these videos. We physically took 18 people in order to pull this off. Our team started calling every location we could think of that was taller than 660 feet. Obviously the height limitation comes into play first. We looked in Houston, Moab, Glen Canyon Dam in Arizona, Washington DC, Miami, Chicago. We got a zillion knows before we finally found a yes. We went to. We looked in Houston, Moab, Glen Canyon Dam in Arizona, Washington DC, Miami, Chicago. We got a zillion knows before we finally found a yes. We went to the place that is known for all the craziness, Las Vegas. We decided to attempt this shot from the Strat Hotel on the world-renowned Las Vegas Strip. To truly show you the height of this building, let's start with our own tall man, Cody Jones, shown here next to a standard 10-foot basketball goal. Our Kyle Field shot was from 150 feet. Then, our Oklahoma City shot was from 533 feet. The current record stands at 660 feet, and if made, this shot would be from 856 feet, breaking the current world record by nearly 200 feet. I decided to hit up our friends Mark Rober and How Ridiculous to get their take on us attempting the shot. If you had to give us odds for it, what are we talking? It's over one in a million. Oh gosh. It's, it's gotta be. I'm not gonna lie to you, our team's already planned it, so I feel like we have to at least just go like put in our time. All That's things are possible. It's a bit of a numbers game, right? You're gonna put enough down there. Sure. One just might go in. If it's windy, you're in trouble. How long are you guys gonna be there for? I think we have the tower booked for three days. Is that enough? There is enough? no way. <laughs> if you do this, you guys will be the luckiest five people in the world. You got the Magnus effect going on, right? If the slightest spin at the top, you could be a, a football field away, just laterally, right? Vegas is super windy. It's just yeah. So he was a, a NASA engineer, and um, he turned YouTube. He turned YouTuber. 
And then I think he builds like ridiculous shit and stuff. He does a lot of cool shit. Hmm. Directed Mr. Beast a bunch of times. It's not really? gonna happen. I thought we were supposed to feel better after talking to Mark. Not Why no, did we do this? I don't know. I'm not no, sure. He said. If you feel like you're just not gonna get it, I mean, come on, just dig a little deeper. Keep pushing. I will eat a basketball if you guys give this <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Very helpful. The good news for us is if you break it, then we can try and break it again. So good luck. I think he's gonna break it. I mean, they wouldn't put a fucking video out of it. <laughs> hey guys. Thanks for watching this whole video. We completely failed. We were here for three days. Show the time lapse. We failed. I mean, it could be like that. They booked three days of this fucking thing. They're just gonna shoot basketball for three days. My arms would get tired. I mean, at that point, you can just fucking roll it off the building. It's not really a matter of shooting. <laughs> so. Fuck. Good luck, gentlemen. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Oh. Ah! Great, let's do it. My role on this shoot was creating a net system to protect the rooftop. We designed and constructed a 10,000 square foot net to catch the oh, basketballs yeah. to mitigate any damage to their roof. Nobody's done this before, so we're all kind of going to it like, we should be better safe than sorry. This is what we pitched over to the Strat, and they said, hey, we love it, you guys got the green light. After the art team finished prepping, they gave us the thumbs up to hop on a plane, and we were on our way to attempt the impossible. The morning of our flight, typical Cody fashion, he sent a text message. Hey, by the way, I'm not gonna catch the flight today. He was having monster headaches. And I thought it was just because he has a broken golf swing and it was like, look, I mean, you're too jerky, you're causing headaches. Turned out to be a little more serious than that. What's up guys? Uh, went to the doctor with that headache, did a CT scan, and I do have like a small tear in one of the arteries um, in the back of my head. And he says it'll heal on its own, but I gotta lay low, so I will not make the trip. But I believe in you guys. I'm doing great. We're gonna be fine here. Come on, baby. World record time. Let's go. How are we feeling right now? What time is it? Is that good? Uh, it's eight sixteen at home. Trips. Prayers up for Cody, man. Cody, Garrett. No, that's Garrett. That's Tyler. I think it's Cody, the big man. I get all their names mixed up. I know this is Tyler. I know this is Garrett. That's it. Here at six sixteen. We're going to balls first. We are currently setting up tripods and monitors. If Garrett and I don't get blown off this drop, I'll consider it a success. <laughs> That's our bar for success at this point. Is getting blown off a roof. I ain't gonna sugarcoat it, brother. It's windy. So the first day that we got to the Strat, my first reaction was, okay, this doesn't seem like that much higher than Oklahoma City. That all changed when we got up to the top of the Strat. Oh my gosh, that street is so in play, it's not even funny. Everybody buckle up. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. 12 car pileup on the Vegas Strip today after road basketball falls from tower and lands right in the middle of a windshield of a car carrying 13 puppies. He sounds like just like a weatherman. <laughs> carrying 13 puppies. Just waiting to happen. So finally the day came, the goal is set up. Eight. 156 feet away from the tower that ties stand. If you have to be strapped into something to secure your safety, you shouldn't be doing it. Standing on tie. Honestly, they should just do it out of the airplane, out of the helicopter. He's up there, he throws the very first ball down. Super. Here we go, day one, first shot. Yep. This is the world's highest basketball shot and the ball did not even hit on the roof. Oh dear. Oh, just about 50 yards that way. We're okay. We have time to recalibrate. So you'd have a ball land on the road, then you'd have a ball kiss off about the 10th floor of the nearby hotel. The wind was just whipping. I'm getting dizzy watching you. That's Chad and I both scary. just looked at each other like, there's no way, like this isn't gonna happen. That might hit the hotel. Heads up, mate. It's a little right. Yikes. It's got a shot, now it's right. That's on the street, Trent! We were missing that net system by, by so many feet. We just had to ask like, hey, are y'all cool with us taking this goal beyond this net? And they gave us the green light. What happens first? Do we make the shot or get kicked out of Vegas? <laughs> this is fun, I could do this all day. Day one, shutting it down at 9.30. Winds are getting too high, getting too dangerous losing control of the balls. Day two is supposed to be better. Let's regroup, let's come back out day two. We still have two full days. This is tough. This is tough. I, I, I don't know if they're gonna do it. I really want them to do it, though. I don't know. Ready to the top, day two. Let's make a shot. Everyone was like, oh, day two's gonna be great. Five mile an hour winds, it's gonna be perfect. We're getting ready to go out there onto the platform. They come out and they're like, guys, no good. Our wind that was supposed to be a nice, like, five gusting to eight miles an hour just currently read at 54. 
54 mile an hour gusts and 27 mile an hour winds. Does it feel that windy down there? Uh, it's pretty windy, super windy where we are, but when you can find the drive, you can tell. <laughs> it's just so unpredictable. We had to kind of wait for about an hour for it to die down. Still didn't get great, but it was safe enough for us to go out on the platform, start shooting. Wow, wow. That's more than 22. Ties up there, he throws the very first ball down, and it was windy, uh, which it wasn't supposed to be, but of course it was. And the ball went into the street. Oh my god. The safety piece was tough because it's this balancing act. It's like, you know, you only have three days in Vegas. So you want to keep ripping off shots, because if you don't, you're never going to make it. Oh, that's going to hit Kobe's car. Yep. But it's a really serious safety concern. It's not really a position anybody head. wants to be in, is throwing projectiles off a 856-foot tower. Like seeing those balls, like, go off of the roof and knowing that you're the one that threw it. It became a point where it was like, it's not worth it. I'm just not gonna throw until something bad happens totally and then agree. stop. I can no, agree. agree. We cannot That's stop. just stupid, that doesn't make sense. And I was right there with him. I was kind of like, dude, I don't know if we should keep doing this. It's not worth it to cause a wreck, injure somebody. Yeah, and I'm saying that can't just happen. Said, just lock that down. That cannot happen. That's a scary place to be, and I know one that Ty was uncomfortable with. Being totally honest with you guys, it was tense because we've got two completely different points of view. Ty and the guys up top, including me, are seeing what the balls are doing, and we're like, and down below, the guys are just seeing the ball not go in the goal. Guys, we are running out of time, and we're not going to hit anybody. Let's just shoot the ball. And the one that I tried to flirt with it, it hit the cable, and that's the one that Dude, went. I, I still don't think you flirt with it. You throw right. You have to. You throw right the whole time. I was getting pretty frustrated, so I'm like, Ty, just shoot it to the right. Ball's in the air. Oh. I get it, you don't want to be responsible for that ball, but at the same time, kind of discouraging that like, we weren't seeing the momentum that we expected. I kind of made the decision like, guys, I, like, I do not want to shoot another ball. Ultimately, there's just one guy up there who's feeling the weight of launching that basketball off, and I didn't feel like it was really fair that Ty was the only one who had to do that. I got to hand it to him, Kobe stepped up. Kobe was like, man, put me in a harness, I want to try it. So when I stepped up there, I felt like, okay, let me just give it a different approach and see what happens because there's no right or wrong answer. So I let the first shot go and shockingly, yes, it got pretty close. Yes! Oh! So immediately I'm hopeful, thinking, okay, I may have oh kind of found a groove God. here. Let's let's stick with. Holy shit! That was, that was more so than pretty close. close. With it, second ball did the exact same thing, and it landed in the street. Hit the street. Move the goal to the street! <laughs> I probably shot, I don't know, two, three hours worth of basketballs that day, and by the end of all of it, I was really confident this is never going in. We still, at this point, had not even hit the goal, which is... Hit the street. Just move the goal to the street! <laughs> I probably shot, I don't know, two, three hours worth of basketballs that day, and by the end of all of it, I was really confident this is never going in. We still, we at this point, had bit. not even hit the goal, which is like a bad sign. This is not the place to do this. Very quickly, I hear conversations about, hey, what are we going to do as a video replacement? And I'm like, I can't believe we're talking about this. I think a big turning point to help continue this attempt it was meeting with the GM of the Strat. They suggested a plan where we could close down their valet. That would allow us to not have to worry so much about some of those stray balls. I think we're just praying that there's less wind tomorrow and I feel like there's at least a little bit of hope. I you're not, not gonna come down. Day three, you gotta make it happen. It's gotta be done. The stress through the camera this out. morning <laughs> at this point. Something's wrong. Hey guys, day three. Been at it for two days, that's hence the day three. And I feel good about it. This is our best weather opportunity by far, not close. For the first time, I felt like when I'd shoot a ball off, like I could tell Chad, hey, that's that's good. We had way better wind conditions. I mean, there's zero wind. Like, it's almost like eerily quiet. I was actually uh, supposed to leave day three, which I didn't know about until we got to Vegas. I would have loved to leave day three, but. So I actually had to fly out Thursday night ahead of the rest of the team, and so, uh, two o'clock was kind of the deadline. Day three in the morning was the first time 
where I think there was like a little bit of hope that kind of came back. Like when I do everything that I need to do on my end, the ball goes relatively close to where it should. <sighs> then the wind came back. It just felt like the most random game of Battleship ever. Team morale all across the board was, was pretty bad. I know I look calm, but it's because it's day three and you just kind of don't expect it to go in. I think it was the hottest day of the three, so that's tough for the, the crew down below especially. Probably the best way I could describe it would be like taking the SAT outside in the blazing heat. It was just mentally taxing. You're focused every time. I will say the one thing that kind of gave me a jolt of energy was you filming Tim up there in his speech, <laughs> and then when y'all sent that out. He sends us the uh, Miracle on Ice speech. Great moments are born from great opportunity, and that's what we have here today, boys. That is what we've earned here today. One shot. We've tried it a thousand times. We might miss 999, but not this time. Not this shot. Today, we make it. Today, we break history, and we make this shot because we can. Today, we, specifically, the 5-2 Perfect Guys are the greatest trick shooters in the world! Come on, boys, we can do this! We go out there and take it. I'm inspired. I'm inspired by leaders like Tim who step up in the face of adversity. And with that being said, I, I still don't think it's gonna go in, but I'm gonna shoot till my little heart's content and I gotta leave. So let's do it, boys. Do you actually believe in your speech? Uh, no. No, I didn't. Um, <laughs> I, I, I did Start shooting, go for the next hour. At least he's honest. <laughs> no, hour 15 no. minutes, hits 2 o'clock. Cody Bland is in there shouting through the glass, and he's like, hey, your flight's delayed. Just keep shooting. And I'm kind of like, great. But at this point, again, it was like, well, great, you have till 3.30, but balls are going everywhere. The wind's crazy. Like, we're back to square one. You know, Tim's Miracle on Ice speech has kind of started to wear off. Until about 2.30. Why didn't they just get multiple hoops? I was thinking that, but like... Defeats the purpose? Yeah. yeah. No. And my head is like, why don't I get multiple goals, set them up completely different angles, and you just shoot for one? But like, then it wouldn't be a trick shot, it'd just be like... Hoping it goes in. Yeah. Three, I think it was, or something like that. I throw this ball off, starts to curve back. I'm like, okay, that's pretty close. Corey was laying down right beside me. We kind of sat up and we're like, wow, this looks pretty good. It isn't even on course for the basketball hoop. And then last second, about five seconds before the ball got down to us, I started feeling really good about it. And knowing how much control that I had over it, I cannot look at that shot and say that God didn't have his hand in it. He has a purpose for Dude Perfect. And in that moment, it was kind of like reassuring. To be able to pull that off should never have happened. It made me feel like for some reason, God's just not done with Dude Perfect yet. This is the world's highest basketball shot. Come on, come on! everybody a hug. Oh, nah, that was crap. stupid, man. We freaking got it, dude. <laughs> telling the story like I got start to get emotional telling it, but like it, it was such like a relief in that moment. Truly, like at, at that point, nobody thought it was going in. Woo! Zero goal hits in three days, zero. And the one time we hit it, it went in. <laughs> that was awesome, man. Being able to celebrate with the team, being able to, you know, to come together. And... I think that was in itself is probably one of the biggest inspirations for us wanting to pull it off, not just for us and the record, but for our team as a whole. <laughs> I was 
so proud of the entire team. Everybody worked so hard to do their part to pull it off. It doesn't even feel like a team, it's a family. Go Giants! Go Giants! As stupid as it might sound to some people out there that, hey, these guys are throwing balls off buildings and making shots, yeah, whatever, that ain't changing the world. I can tell you one thing, it's enriching our relationships here at Do Perfect, and that means a lot. Official ball for now. Going back to the man that shot it. TT! This one goes out to everybody here. This is for you guys. It's fun to bring the record back home. If How Ridiculous or anyone else wants to try and break it, be our guest. It's really cool to see this platform is given to us for more than just our own successes. The amount of control that we have over things, over Dude Perfect, over the world, over our circumstances is very little. But whatever God blesses us with and whatever successes that we do have, we're going to continue to point back to him and give him the glory for it. And that's the way that we're going to continue to look at it as long as Dude Perfect is a thing. All right, should someone sign in honor of Cody? Nope. Nah. If he ever comes here one day, he can sign it. Do it. There you go. Nuggets! See ya! That's crazy. And he never went on his flight. <laughs> that's so crazy. 856 feet. Yeah, that's I was crazy. very doubtful in the beginning. Yeah, I didn't think they would do it. But they did it. They, they done did the thing. They done did the dang. <laughs> that's crazy. That was crazy. Yeah, that's really cool. Now I kind of want to do it. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Eight fifty seven. <laughs> <laughs> Just. Yeah, but that's that was kind of scary with the wind and it hitting the street and stuff. I would have never done it. See, here's the thing. I would have just kept a, a rack of balls with me and just went. Whoosh. With the wind. Just keep shooting. Potential of hit somebody in the head. Move. Get out the way. What? Get out the way. What? Get out the way. No, I'm cat. just kidding. That is so cat. Anyway, um, let us know what you guys want us to react to next. As this was another couple reacts here on Lift and Love Reacts. But until next time, there's only one thing you can do. Tell them, baby. Lift, love, crush, hate. And just like that, we are.